there's no need to fear. Underdog is here. Time again for the Underdog Show, starring that champion of champions, Underdog. things were afloat in the city. Give us all your silver coins. Ghosts! Ghosts! It's ghosts! Ghosts! ghosts. Nonsense! There are no such things as ghosts. There's nothing to be afraid of. Take this. It went through him. Right through him. Ghosts! Since you have interfered, I must lightning jolt you. Hey, can't move! The ghost did Run it! for your lives! <laughs> Your silver tea set is lovely, Alice. Thank you, dear. Do you have another cup of tea? Give us your silver tea set. Ghosts? How? Ghosts? What is it? What's wrong? It's those ghosts. There are no such things as ghosts. My fist went through them. Ghosts! You have interfered. I shall lightning jolt you. He can't move. Oh, no! <laughs> now we shall take the silver tea set. <laughs> somebody's idea of a joke. Watch this. It went through him. Ghosts! You have interfered. I shall lightning jolt you. He can't it move. shock. The ghosts did it. And now we shall take your silverware. It's unbelievable. Real ghosts. Someone call Underdog. Call Underdog. He'll stop the ghosts. Send for Underdog. But at that moment, Underdog was in a mighty tussle with huge sharks. <laughs> Weary from this heroic effort, Underdog quickly hurried home to get some needed sleep. What kind of creature can this be who comes in here to waken me? I must have your silver ring. Never. The secret compartment of my ring I fill with an underdog super energy pill. You can have the pill, but I must have the silver ring. Give it to me or I shall lightning jolt you. what will happen unless I get the ring. If it's a fight you want, it's a fight you've got. Here I come, ready or not. The blows I strike have no effect, and this creature is making my room a wreck. The battle raged furiously. Underdog used his rocket speed to dodge the jolts, but his own blows were useless against this enemy. And finally, Underdog was tiring. Yes, Underdog had been lightning jolted. Is there no hope for him? 
there's plenty of excitement ahead in our next episode. Go, 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 first watch them. Go, go, go. Two little Indians, no others near. Colonel, he vows these two soon disappear fighting the army blue soldiers galore what can two indians do go 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 first watch them go 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 first watch them go 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 here comes the colonel with his sergeant both are roaring and a charging go 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 first watch them go 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 first watch them go 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 All right, Sergeant, I'm sick and tired of fooling around. Those gopher Indians have got to go now. Begging the Colonel's pardon, but we've tried just about everything in the book, and those Indians just won't budge an inch out of Gopher Gulch. They will now, Sergeant. They will now. Wagon coming! Open the gate! Come along, Sergeant. That must be my newest secret weapon to get rid of those gopher Indians. I've just had the latest weapon sent in from Washington. Rockets, Sergeant. Rockets. We'll blast those gophers right out of Gopher Gulch. Uh-oh. Colonel got new weapon? What kind? You say Colonel got him rockets to blast us? That bad. What we do? Oh. We make them rockets blast him. <laughs> Whoopie doopie, we have fun. <laughs> this time, Sergeant, I really outsmarted those gophers. I guess you're right, Colonel. Oh, but begging the Colonel's pardon, how can you use that to fight the gopher Indians? Sergeant, aim the launcher right at the teepee. I'll light the fuse. Now they're going to get it. What happened? A dud, Sergeant. I'll check it. I'd be careful. Nonsense. It's a dud. Those boys in Washington have sent us a dud. They'll hear from me about... You all right, Colonel? Uh, of course. Yes, yes, of course, of course. I'm all right, I'm all right. Uh, uh, let's get back at it. All right, Sergeant, we'll try again. Make sure it's pointed right at the teepee. All set. Bully, bully. I'll light the fuse. Ah, bully, bully, it worked. Well, begging the colonel's pardon, but the teepee is still there. This is ridiculous. Where did that rocket go? <laughs> <laughs> Better lock that launcher in position. Good idea. We'll get them this time. Ready? Aim. Fire! We did it! We did it, Colonel! We, we did it! Yes, indeed. It's coming back! Run! Run! This is strictly against regulation! Regulation 2689 says uh, no ramming colonels with rockets! <laughs> We'll fix them this time, Sergeant. I'm going to shoot off all the rockets at once. Gee, Colonel, after what's been happening, I don't think... Think, think? You're in the Army, Sergeant. You're not supposed to think. Light the fuses. They're off, Sergeant. Now, just wait till they... Hey! This is against regulations! Hello, 
Send up the reserves. <laughs> Fire at will. Looks like the Colonel is really up in the air on account of those gophers. But he ought to be back to Earth by next week. So you all be watching here. Yeah? <laughs> I must tell you of my exciting lumberjack days. Must you really, Commander? The Northwoods Lumber Company had fallen behind with log deliveries, so they called on me. I went to work immediately. In no time, we were getting back on schedule. When... Log jam! Log jam! I rushed to the scene. Making sure I was alone, I whipped out 20 sticks of dynamite and lit the fuse. Suddenly, a heavy log rolled down and caught my foot. I couldn't move. With the fuse of the dynamite growing shorter, I was doomed. Shattering? You didn't have a chance. Of course I did. Since my hands were free, I quickly built around myself a sturdy log cabin. <laughs> jam was broken up completely, but my log cabin had protected me. It floated to shore. The men freed my foot, and all was well. Commander, you really put your foot in it that time. Quite. <laughs> The underdog could not move. He had been lightning jolted, and now the ring which held his super energy pill was being stolen. I must have the silver ring. Meanwhile, only a short distance away, Sweet Polly Purebred was doing a remote telecast. Oh, dear viewers, it's just terrible. All over the city, these ghosts have struck, stealing silver everywhere. No one knows what to do, so we are all searching desperately for Underdog. There he is! Wonderful! Oh, Underdog, I'm so glad to see you. Ghosts are striking all over the city. They're stealing silver and... And why don't you say something, Underdog? Why do you just keep standing there? No use trying to talk with him, sweet Polly Purebred. I saw what happened. He even got this picture. Oh, no. Underdog has been lightning jolted by one of those ghosts. What can we do? Maybe if we threw water on him. Oh, yes. Everybody get some water. The water's short-circuiting him. But it isn't waking him. If he keeps on sizzling, he might burn up. Stop Underdog from sizzling. He's our only hope. Sand. Throw sand on him. The sizzling stopped, but there's no movement in the sand. Now the ghosts will get us all. Underdog was our only hope. Look! It's moving! The sand is moving. Again. This sand you poured put things in hand. The lightning ran off me into the sand. What about the ghosts, Underdog? Can you stop them? They're all over town. You've got to stop those ghosts. When you call them ghosts, your reasoning fails. The only ghosts are in fairy tales. But I saw the ghosts, Underdog, and one of them lightning jolted you. And they're stealing silver from all over town. Just look at this picture. 
If that isn't a ghost, what is it? Yeah. Yeah, you know, what, what is it, Arndor? Yeah, what is it? Lightning they have, but silver they need. This is a difficult riddle indeed. Quickly, Underdog put his computer brain to work on this strange riddle to determine what these creatures really were. He's got it. I really think he's got it. What are they, Underdog? These ghost-like creatures who frighten crowds are really only men of clouds. Cloud men! He says they're cloud That's men. why they're full of thunder and lightning! And quickly, Underdog told the people about a strange planet millions of miles away. The planet Cumulus, where only cloud men lived. Ruled over by King Cumulus Regulus. Well, why are they stealing silver? Yeah, what do they want silver for? Yeah. I know. I know why they want silver. Every cloud must have a silver lining. Every cloud must have a silver lining. Every cloud must have a silver lining. Look, it's the cloud men. They're all living. And they bought our silver. They stole your silver and they stole my ring. I must go to Cumulus and face their king. But you look so weak, Underdog. And you don't have your ring with the super energy pill inside. I'm going to Cumulus with you. Maybe I can help. And so the weakened underdog took off with Sweet Polly Pure Bread. What will happen when they reach the planet Cumulus? Will underdog be able to fight the cloud men without his super energy pill? There's a thrilling time ahead in our next exciting episode.